There is but one punishment for traitors. Frost is really good against me. Damages my living armor. I don't like things that damage my living armor. <laughs> Play this on blue. Ugh. Did I forget to add ramen? I think I forgot to add ramen. I did. That's probably something that should be in the deck. What does Vigo do? It makes another alchemist. It might just be bad without the, the lead area though. Guard flavor. What's this deck? Uh, Living Armor Alchemists. Doing pretty good. How about you? to guarantee pool living armor. The problem with Pony to pool living armor is like you kind of want to do it in round three. And in round three, you're not always messing up your opponent's deck. I'm just helping them. Mine. I should range this in the stack, right? Play living armor, he passes. Why are we using this leader? Because all the milk red leaders suck. This one at least like sets up Yawakim. Oh, cool. So now the top card is a Yigurn. Just 
to Nero the Yigern. Don't think I wanted the Yigern in a four card round against the Winter Queen deck. Just get the Elga. This is fine. Alright. Just put these back, play Diplo. Is Albrick alright? Albrick gets a farm. Yeah, Albrick's alright. I have to put three back, right? Um. Is that Yoa came into it? Next, head up. Win. Get right, Aaron Ann. Yeah, the abyss. Let's call it that. There is but one punishment for traitors. Oh, I should have shared it. Whoops. That was my bad. Oh, this is a good reason to play a real TA, but not Magic Lamp. for Mill. Nah, we play Mill every season. Mill gets viewers. I like Mill. Oh. Huh. You know I said I like Mill? I'm also scared of Mill. We're fine, right? We don't actually like them that much. As long as we're careful. Forts on my living armor. Wait, what? <laughs> really? I'm 
mean, at least he's playing a lot of cards that aren't milling me. I don't know what's going on. I think he's trying to play points. I think. Feels like Rudea. It's just he operated a Viper Witcher. It's not like a Viper Witcher from hand, which would also be weird in Rudea. That's fine. Um. Sure. Yeah, Monster Train was fun yesterday. Pretty big update. I shall be your eyes, my lord. Guess I jam living armor. It's not like I don't have points outside of the living armor combo. Nice. Still too easy for me to do in one, right? Just like leaders. I have 11 cards in deck. How does he mill me six more? Like he's built all my fitting cards. And I still have an invo. Isn't this just fine? Still got 10 cards in deck. It'll be 4 cards in round 2. Even if all of his cards mill me. I'll have 3 cards left. Time to get our hands dirty. Oh, and he had to play a Viper Witcher here. <laughs> it wasn't even the Afan. Drive past into round two. Or round three. Go on, I'd rather have to blow. Probably. I'm just gonna lead on this so I don't like somehow bug out. People were saying earlier that this ability sometimes doesn't work if you don't have the right number of cards. So just make sure that doesn't happen. I'm not sure what the conditions are for more brands screwing you over. Uh, the vampire thingy is not a soldier for ramen. Full stop! 
That's good. Yeah, I'm aware. Someone in chat was saying a couple days ago that when they had like few cards in hand and too few cards in deck, the Morvan made them put extra cards back. I just want to avoid the possibility of that happening. I know how it's supposed to work. I've only heard one person say it, and another person said they couldn't figure out how to replicate it. But if there's even a chance of it happening, I don't see a reason to not just take the Morvan while, while I know it works. I guess the problem would be I don't get, like, invo value, but it's fine. to you. You had one card in deck, made you put three cards in deck. Okay, yeah. That's that's something that I want to avoid. I would like... Don't make me oh, mirror love. match. Favorite homecoming bean decks that got removed due to reworks. I missed the Bear Master deck. That was a lot of fun. It was like, sort of a real deck. There are some scores set with it. But... I think most people would have called it more of a meme deck than a competitive deck. to be hella broken nowadays. Uh, probably. Because they tried to push beasts as a separate archetype. But, like, part of the point of Bear Master's design was you had to play bad cards to make him good. Oh, the... yeah, in the Veterans deck. That Bear Master. That took a long time to play that Tourney Joust on Helga. High roll. <laughs> Get him, Viper. We've thinned our opponent's deck for them. We thinned our opponent's hyper thin deck for them. So we made their Zarthisius better. What? Stop. <laughs> no. <laughs> Maybe, like, drop his power down to, like, three. But even then, I don't know. I feel like you want to be able to interact with an ability like that. 
Also, it being reliable more limits the design space around Nilfgaard leaders. Yeah, like Enslave 6 suddenly becomes a lot better when you don't need to worry about protecting Damien. Right, it is Veil. Right. Number two power with which to deploy. I mean, keep in mind what Nilfgaard leaders exist right now, right? There's like double cross. This thing's just gonna be six points. Imprisonments, whatever. Imposters, kind of whatever. The problem's like basically just enslave and the design space of future Nilfgaard leaders that are worth a lot of points. I do have cards in my deck with provision cost 10 or more. Slave and reliable. Yeah, yeah. Like, as someone who is not a huge fan of the Elder Bears, I don't think turning them into deploys is the way to go. Like, the risk reward of, like, knowing the leader and knowing if you want to hold removal for Damien is meaningful. What leader I'll be playing? Mill? I have no idea. I have not thought that far ahead yet. I mean, it's just a different card. Okay. You give your lives for the Empire of Nicole with no hesitation. I believe I already have a chair. Should be that. Hey, Taranga. Two months, thank you for entertaining me in these dark times. No problem. Good to have you here. I appreciate it. Um, I would like the Invo. like the Afan. Don't really care about this. So I don't think I ever get to stick this living armor. Well, I cut the Defende to play Ramen. I think we'll just jam it and see what he does. Yeah, that makes sense.
Wind condition? Things have veil still. Oh, I also <laughs> stacked alchemist for Yoakim, right? Whoops. Wind condition? No. You crossed the wrong sorceress. Problem is I don't beat the Vilga, but whatever. I was gonna check a man to the arena tier list. If that's what you're looking for. Lost birds, Vilga. Dies, this deck loses a lot of its point potential. Don't make me laugh. <laughs> there was a fly emote. <laughs> oh. Let's leave this in deck. Besides Gwent, uh, on the Twitch channel, occasionally we'll do some variety. We'll probably play Fall Guys later this month. Probably in a couple days we'll start the variety. Seven power dude is back up for dead no living armor. The problem with that is like even if you play the seven power dude, how much value are your alchemists getting on sevens? Part of what makes the living armor thing good is the living armor is ten. 
But losing three value per alchemist... I don't know, you'd rather just like not have the alchemist in your hand, shuffle them away with your leader. Besides Gwen Twitch, I don't know, I uh, cook food from time to time. <laughs> Watch uh watch YouTube, normal people things. I'm a normal person. I'm a people. Relate to me. I'm relatable. Oh yeah, those things. But those are Gwent related. <laughs> I write code. Don't relate to vampires. Oh no. Good thing I'm not a vampire then. I'm a part time ghost? No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Robots to do everyone's bidding. <laughs> oh man. We're the best regiment in the whole plowing north. Is any good? Thank you so much for making Gwent content. You're the reason I find fun in Gwent. Much love from me and my girlfriend. Hey, Dr. Doom. Thanks, I appreciate it. Glad you're enjoying Gwent. Glad you're enjoying the content. Is Force Protector bigger than the Gord? Gord's a 6. Shiryu's a 3. Wee. I've played it on YouTube a couple times. The YouTube videos are pretty outdated at this point. There is a big update with all the art coming soon-ish. Only like a third of the arts are done, probably within the next like two months. So unfortunately our bribery was not worth points, and now we lose. What deck is this? This is Living Armor, Alchemist, Nilfgaard. Play a living armor, we swap its power with another unit with alchemist, and then living armor keeps its original power, as its power is always equal to its armor, and living armor, or er, alchemist does not change the unit's armor. Do you think he'll respect living armor? That just jam living armor? Into the bleed. Where's Letho? We're not playing Letho. Letho just sort of makes the deck even worse if living armor gets answered. You don't really need two living armors. Sad now. <laughs> yeah, this is sort of the problem with these living armor decks. 
When things go according to plan, it's pretty sweet. Problem is, uh, a lot of things make things not go according to plan. We need a Thon. We play a Thon, but it's in our graveyard. Or do you mean the Defender? Yeah, I mean, we had Defender in the first list. We cut it for space. Wanted to play Ramen, so I had another package to win another round. Not at its best against Precision Strike. More Alchemist targets. Nope. There's really only one good Alchemist target in the game. And it's Living Armor. Everything else requires either a lot of work with like Tibor, or there isn't really enough points like Old Geared. It's just so we have determined to take the goes. The Vigo always hits Alchemist. Yikes! Wait. Wait. Wait! He does not have Heat Wave. He already played Heat Wave. Last card's Gord. It wasn't really out that I was playing towards, but I guess that's an out that we theoretically Shield Wall. Okay, chat. Will this opponent attempt to dual living armor? Yes, 100% yes. Yeah, okay. Okay, well, not much of a question, I guess, if everyone's in agreement that it's gonna happen. I still haven't switched to real TA. Doesn't draw on says. Good thing everyone's also playing Salt Kirk. Come on. 
Yep, Mortberg kills living army. I demand satisfaction now. Okay, maybe living armor is not getting dueled. Getting mad about dualism and that was a mechanic. It's been in the game for so long. It was such a loved mechanic when it was introduced. Now, like, they make one leader that's good with it, and everyone fucking hates it. I mean, once they tuned it down, it wasn't just like duel any two units on the board. People even liked your death. Using Blaze of Glory, turn one versus don't go with TA. Probably not. It's very aggressive. That's just another way of getting tolerable. Let's get near my invo now. It's like sort of good. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why? <sighs> Why? The whole point of the ability is that it gets used to things that have order and need to like live a turn. You protect those things. How overtuned do you think shield charge is that removing the boost entirely and giving it one more charge is an exchange that can be done? <laughs> oh. Living armor. armor in the ability. Eh. I don't know. NR is a shield faction. They have, should have a shield leader. I think it's fine. I really don't have a problem with shield wall. Fuck. <laughs> Who plays devotionless? <sighs> oh. I've got a plan. It's okay. You, you. I guess you. The continent will quake beneath Nilfgaardian hope. We.
<laughs> just keeps getting better. <laughs> just keeps getting better. Feed me your cards. Did he not leave the leader? <laughs> What's happening? Uh, just shield wall players getting bullied, I guess. Uh, what now? I don't need the alchemist. I don't have a ton left. Maybe they cut AA. There's two alchemists in my deck, because there's a living armor that got heat waved. The idea is that living armor doesn't get heat waved. The senses can be fooled easily. Wise choice. Not a good number. Do we still lose? <laughs> we don't still lose, right? Thanks for the Twitch Prime. Thanks for the three months. Easy game. Never worried for a second. Almost lost to a... <laughs> Imagine. Other things I'd want to wait. I hate portals. Overwhelming hunger. things. Ugh. Yeah, I agree. An actual shield archetype would be cool. Yeah, it is nice it is nice with a fawn not being a brick. Something you actually want in your hands. Still not used to that. Um, I guess this, since boosting the evolving card is bad. 
Yeah, that's why I said more. It's got Ragnar, it's got like Damned Sorceress, though that's kind of gotten power crept. Could win any cavalry. Seems sort of problem. The rewards just aren't there. Ragnar's good, but Ragnar doesn't carry it. The game lacks diversity than before. When is before? I don't think it's any less diverse than any other recent patch. The answer is a little counterproductive. Uh, depends what you're trying to do. The answer is makes sense with like Kidwini Cavalry, but that interaction is Powercraft, right? There's just no reason to do that. Or like Immortals. If the idea is you want to be removing your shields, and you have enough cards that gain shield that you want to remove, then Dance Sorceress could make sense. Or that kind of effect could make sense, I should say. Take the Manticore. Do it. Yet another horn for my collection. He didn't take the Manticore. He didn't do it. Um, I don't think self-wound is necessarily the way to go about it. For the same reason that you want it to feel different to SK self-wound. But something that inter interacts with shield. Even if it's just more damn sorceress-like effects. Or more cards that benefit from having their shields removed. Ideally both, I guess, since both halves are kind of lacking. Or you mean since NR has five decks to play with? What? I don't think NR has five decks now. I don't remember the last time NR had a bunch of different decks. Nope. I stopped thinking during my mulligan phase. Welcome to 5 hours and 54 minutes into the stream. Don't show weakness. Make up a reason. <laughs> Uh, I don't have one. I can't. I can't in good conscience. Okay, steal a thingy. Don't don't steal this thingy. Steal one of the the dumb thingies. Thank you. This is safe, right? And our shield. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I wouldn't even consider like the pincer deck and the uprising deck last season to be different enough to call them two different decks. They're just like the same deck with a different leader. There was engine in R, and then there was mid range in R. Another task. 
lives. <laughs> I guess this is the same. It's about seven days. Probably just wanted to take the battle prep as a soldier. Late night dumper gifting a sub to Ossings. Thanks, late night dumper. Welcome, Ossings. That just tutor synergy with the tutor cards. Uh, yeah. I mean, not all of them, right? Like, um, Nature's Rebuke doesn't combo with Valve, but yeah, the four provision ones generally do. Mad Charge is also, like, better than the other 4P ones, right? It pretty easily plays for 7. This hand is really weird. Positive win rate. How'd that happen? We've only lost two. Weird. I feel like we've been losing so much more. We survived the bleed. I should dig, right? I do want that. What's my Nero for? Nero could be... Yo, can just whatever I invo for. I could just kick the invo. So that I can try to dig deeper for a fawn. No rush. Ramon gets boosted. I tutored it with uh, Alberic. We shall conquer this world as we have conquered countless others. Yard. 
Probably got yoinked by Maruna. Got banished by something? Where did it go? Oh, I packed it him. That makes sense. That sounds like something that I would do. Thrive again? What? Wait, why did it matter here? Oh, it's a navigator? Oh, uh, sure, sure. Yeah, that would be one point better. to the... there's no Azrael. We beat that. Cool! Do you want 6 and 2 with us? It's better than I thought we did. Also better than I thought we would do. Interesting. Okay, chat. Uh, before we...